So, here we go. Found the road. All the lines are still on the road. The pride slowly making their way back east. How absolutely amazing is that? Just having an entire pride of lions walk straight towards us. There's the male white lion, the one just giving a yawn now. You can see the young male to the side, to the right. And then one of the lead lionesses there in the back, standing very proud and just listening, looking off to her right and our left. It's actually quite nice to see them walking side by side when they were, the young male and the lioness. Oh, look at that. It's absolutely stunning. Just all lie down, please. Got a message from a friend of mine earlier today. Um, saying it's the most time she's ever heard someone say stunning. And in all honesty, for me, this has just been an absolutely stunning day, if I have to be completely honest. I mean, how else would you describe this? See, the little white lioness, she's just completely passed out again in front of the sub-adult male Complete comfort. Beautiful face. So we got a question from Matthew asking what time do lions usually sleep? Um, Matthew, there's no bedtime for lions. There's no actual time where they'll just end up sleeping. I can tell you that they are quite lazy animals in the sense that they'll spend about 20 hours of their day just lazing around. Um, not all the time in deep sleep, but lying down exactly like they are now. Um, but yeah, there's definitely no strict bedtime um, that a lion has to go to sleep. Oh, could hear a little bit of a growl there as the one lion is passed just in front of the other one, almost asking to be groomed. Ooh. So Danny and Jeremy just asked how long do lions live? Um, I'll answer that question now. It's just interesting. Did you see when the young male yawned that just how big he opened his mouth that he could fit the entire little white lion's head into its mouth? It's actually, it's quite scary how big a lion's mouth opens. So to get back to the question, lions, it also, again, it depends on whether it's a male or females. So the females tend to outlive the males. They could go for up to 18 years out here in the wild. We actually did have a female live for 18 years on Ingala. Then a male typically won't make it past the age of 14. Um, since I've been here, we've never really had a male lion go past the age of 12, just because um, they're the way they live their lives, being territorial, they often fight with other males. So if they fight and get injured, they can't hunt for themselves, which means they also probably lost the fight. So they'll be kicked out of the pride and there goes their food source. Um, if they don't get injured again, they lost almost the protection of the pride, but also in the sense is their hunting bodies are gone. Um, and being an older lion, they'll have to take to scavenging mostly. So, yeah, males tend to not last as long as females. It always reminds me when I see a proud alliance, there's, a, <laughs> there's an insurance company in South Africa called First for Women, and they only insure women because technically men and guys tend to do more silly things and probably worse to ensure than women are. Marcel says it's just because it's fun. Risk takers. Absolutely. 
So I think I can actually see it getting darker, darker and darker while we sit here. So we are going to leave them over here. Um, we'll try to find them again in the morning. But I think for now, yeah, while it's getting so dark, some of them, actually that lioness is starting, no, she'll settle down. Right, yeah, we're going to send you back to James at Juma. Um, I think tomorrow morning, most probably Sean will take you out and then we'll come try and find the Birmingham Pride again. So back to James at Juma.